In this video, I'm going to give you a quick start guide on how to use the AMA Review Analyzer. Now, this product is quite unique and it's very powerful for trying to come up with ideas that you want to private label or ideas for products or niches that you want to private label or sell on Amazon as an Amazon seller. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And so the way that this works is it can you can analyze the the reviews, the more specifically the content in reviews in order to find things that are good about the product or things that are bad about the product. And then what you can do when you're looking for um, similar products to private label is try to fix those things that people don't like about products. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. Now I have a, a product I was just bringing up here. I'm just going to use this as an example. It's just some uh, barbecue gloves. You can see here it has a lot of reviews. It actually has quite high rating in it. But what, just, just as an example purposes, I just selected one that has a lot of reviews. But what you want to do here is you want to try to find out what's wrong with this product or also what is what people love about the product and then try to mimic those things in your own product as well. And so let's go ahead and just grab the ASIN number or you can actually grab the full product link if you want. So let's go ahead and just let's grab the ASIN number. You can see it's usually down. You provide usually right here. You can also get an ASIN number from any other software. I actually found this product in the top product analyzer. I was uh, searching in this category here, grills, outdoor, and cooking. And then I applied a filter that has over a thousand reviews. And then I sort by rating. And then I, I just previewed it and this is the report and then I found it here so you can see there's some other ones there actually there's some claws there we can look at that as well or a barbecue brush here as well we can take a look at that uh, let's just go ahead with that other one there so paste in the ASIN number or the link and then you have a few things to select from here obviously you got you have to select the Amazon site so I got this from amazon.com um, you want to select the number of reviews so you can select all of them or you can uh, preset amount there now the review type, you can select all reviews or just verified purchase only reviews. The ratings, you can select all the ratings, five star all the way down to all positive or all critical. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the critical. Now this is, a, when it says critical, this is defined by Amazon, so Amazon makes that definition. They decide whether or not a particular um, comment is critical. They probably do it based on the number of star rating. As well, and you can sort by um, most helpful or the newest product review. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you click go. Now it's going to go out to Amazon for that particular product. And it's going to grab all of the critical reviews. You can see here it's going through 36 pages. If I selected all reviews, it's obviously going to take a lot longer because there was, uh, I think, let's take a look. There's 3,000 reviews there. So there actually wasn't that many critical reviews for that particular product. So it's a good idea to try to find a product that actually has a lower sort of rating and a lot of reviews. Then you can kind of pinpoint, well, why do people hate the product so much? And then you can come in and make that product better and uh, and then do a lot better in terms, of, in terms of sales. So just about done here. So what it does, it pulls back the uh, the site, the rating, the comments, and the helpful votes, as well as the title of the corresponding product, and then all the review information. Now, what's let me show you some of the features here that you can do is uh, you can save this data to let's bring that up here. Save the data to a project file. You can also load the project file. So this is the file button here. We do not have a file button located on the top of the toolbar here like the other software so it's located down here so if you want to save this to a project file you can go ahead and save it I'm just gonna create a new folder here and call it saved and we can save the review data there then we can load data from from a project file you can also save to common delimited text as well as HTML if you'd like now we can actually preview this if we just click preview and it will preview all of the reviews in an HTML file here that we've extracted. There's 352 of them there. Now another really cool feature here is you can do an instant search within here as well as you do have these uh, quick filters so you can actually uh, select from the quick filters up here if you just want to see all the ratings that are you know uh, greater than 
3 or something like that. Actually, there isn't any, so we can clear out the filters by clicking the clear filter button here located in the lower right hand corner. Same with the comments and the helpful votes. But another really powerful feature here is if you go and click on search, you can instantly search within the reviews by keyword as you type. And one thing you can do is, you know, type in the word hate. There's five people that absolutely hate this software or this product. So let's go in and click preview. And now we can come in here. Inside your browser, if you go control F, or I guess on a, on a Mac, it'd be command F. And I'm using Chrome. I love Chrome for finding stuff on a web page. And type in the word hate, and we'll see where it, it comes in here. And I like Chrome. You can see on the right hand side, it actually shows you, indicates along the page where the words will appear. I don't hate them, but love, but not in love. Okay. Almost drop. Okay, hate was within the word whatever, so I didn't quite apply there. And same with over here. Okay, so that's not a very good example for this particular one. But you can also do love. I love it or something like that, right? So anyhow, it just gives you an idea of how quickly you can, or how about not, or do not buy. Someone said that. Do not buy. Let's see what they said. Handle the tray. Do not buy this because it definitely sucks. <laughs> I want my money back. Anyways, you get the idea how you can quickly narrow it down to the um, the reviews you really want to look at. So if you had to do this manually, you know, going to Amazon and try to read 3,000 reviews to, to come up with this data it would take you forever. Now let's just the first part. Now let's take a look at the second part of the software. So this first part is called the review analyzer. It instantly downloads the reviews that you want based on whatever you select over here. And so to remove that search bar, sorry, you just click the search button again, it removes it. And so that's what this part does. Now let's go over to the word analyzer. Now this is where it gets kind of fancy and really fun to play with. So the idea here is in order to pinpoint, okay, what exactly are all these people talking about? Like, why are these reviews critical? What are they talking about? Now, you can go through and read 352 reviews if you want, but man, that's going to take forever, right? Well, what you can do now is use the word analyzer. And so let's just go ahead and just run, dive right in. Just All you got to do is click this generate word stats. And now, what the software did magically, it went into all of those reviews all the, the content of the reviews and it analyzed the word combinations. So I had selected number of words to be three and I want them to show a minimum occurrence of two. So what does that mean? So right here this word combo of the oven it actually occurred 24 times in all of these reviews. On top of that for those corresponding reviews that this word combination appeared in the average rating was one. So 24 of those reviews, all of them gave a review of one based on this word combination. So right there I'm thinking, wow, like what, what do these people didn't like about this particular thing? So check this out. You, you just select this, any, any cell in this row, right click, and now you can see the corresponding reviews, all of them, for that particular keyword. Now again, let's use that cool feature built right into Chrome web browser. It's also in, in Firefox or pretty much any web browser. I'm just going to select this here, right click and copy, and then I'm just going to go control F on my keyboard and let's paste that in there. So now let's take a look. Many items out of the oven hurt after a couple of seconds of holding. So there's a problem with the heat resistant, right, in that review. Taking things out of the oven now, now feels a lot more secure. Okay, that's not a problem there. Take it out of the oven, heat transfer through the glove. Okay, so it, it, like just looking at it first, some reviews here, it looks like, well, these gloves are not working very well for keeping the heat out when you're grabbing something out of the oven. So now that could, uh, that could be something you want to integrate into your product. Well, maybe you can find a pair of gloves that has extra insulation in the, in the finger area just for for actually pulling things out of the oven. In fact, you can market all around that concept of these gloves are specifically for oven, like pulling stuff out of the oven. Like the, you can see here, most versatile oven mitts there, but you know, obviously there's a problem with with the amount of heat that it doesn't deal with sort of thing. 
But anyhow, you can get a quick idea of the problems with the so with with the product. You know, feel the heat. The top probably talking about that again. How you can feel the heat through the glove. Hard to get. Let's see what that's about. A little hard to get on. A little hard to get. Oh, so hard to get them off. So it's hard to get them on and off. So there's a bit of a problem there. So maybe you can find a glove that um, is not um, neoprene. Maybe it's like a cloth or something like that. It's a little easier to slip on and off. So that's an option. So that's just analyzing three word combinations. And now what you can do is just clear this out and you can start playing with other, other word combinations. So let's say we want to look at up to four word words and see if how many four word combinations appear. Out of the oven and get and of the oven and hard to get on difficult to put on, difficult to get on, so there's definitely a problem with putting these gloves on. And we can continue and go on to more word combinations, but the higher you go with word combinations, the obviously the less they're going to occur. So by default we just usually set it to three, but you can go down to two and you still might uncover a bunch of stuff people are talking about. Another really cool feature we have here is stop words. Now the stop words, we have 175 built in and you can change these to whatever you want. So basically, um, if you do not include the stop words and you go generate, you can see that they are in like of the, to get, like certain things you don't really need to see that are not really useful telling you any information. Well, that's what the stop words is for, so sort of to, to eliminate those word combinations that don't, you know, don't really mean anything. So you can see that those got out of there. And you can add the stop words in here. So the way that it works is, let's say for example, a word combination of the is or something like that. If all of those words within that um, word combination, so let's say for example, as, um, let me see here. Okay, so for example here, um, if we just unclick the um, stop words and go, you see something like of the you don't really want of the in there right it's not really going to mean anything so uh, in the stop words here the way that it works is that your word phrase of the if if you do not want that to be in there we can actually put of the in there you put the whole word in there word phrase of the like that or if each individual word is in there of and the is in there and if it's found in the word phrase so each, if each one of the words in here are contained in here, it will not be included. So that's kind of how it works. But basically, it's a good idea just to um, just to include it, just to get a better idea of more informative words to try to uncover like what's going on, what's wrong with the product. Now you can also search within these as well. So you can do an instant search if you want to search through the keywords. And you also have the ability to, to uh, do your quick filters. And you can also save the data that's contained in here as well to a data file and load in data files and save to common delimited file, text file. And we also have that cool feature as built in the other software is you can go directly to the last working folder. In other words, where did you last save a, fi a file or open the file? That'll take you directly there. That's very handy or you can go and see where the install folder is. So this software is actually quite um, straightforward but extremely powerful. You really uh, have a lot of fun playing around with this uncovering what's good and what's bad of particular products. So let's go ahead and clear this out here and go to the other idea. If you want to look at all of the positive reviews for a given product you can go ahead and do that. And you can see here there's 331 pages. So there's a lot of positive reviews. So you can kind of let it run for a while. It's definitely going to take a while to go through all those pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause this and we'll just take a look at the first 90. And we'll do three word combinations. One size fits all. So let's take easy to clean. You put it in the dishwasher. So these are all really good things to think about when you're trying to private label a product and you're going out to search for one. 
uh, make sure that they all have these features that these people love. So anyhow, that's basically a quick overview of how this software works and how powerful it really can be. You can really dive into the keywords here and uncover some pretty wicked things about products that would take a million years. Okay, that's a little exaggerating, but take you a long time. Can you imagine trying to read through 3,000 reviews? It's impossible. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even be possible. You couldn't even do it in one day. It would take you like a year to read through 3,000 of them or something like that. What if you're trying to look at like 100 products and each product has 1,000 reviews? It would just take you forever. So this really cuts down the time and lets you pinpoint the important features of products that you should be modeling in your products and this will give you a massive advantage over other people. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.